Friends, many brothers, welcome into our second week of our Lenten Weekly Reflections, where we journey together, or we have taken a journey of taking steps of healing in our lives. This comes as our lives have to change drastically due to the pandemic that we are all facing. And so today's focus is mental illnesses that have developed and how do we allow ourselves to journey with God and allow this time to reflect on some of the things that or illnesses that have developed so that we can continue to open ourselves up for God's creation. And so let us pray. Lord of light, Lord of creation, creating God, we thank you for your light and we pray, Lord, that you continue to help us in this journey, to help us so that, Lord, we can continue to live in your well-being and continue to open ourselves up for your creation. Amen. And so, friends, today's focus verse is John 8 verse 12 where it reads as follows the gospel of John chapter 8 verse 12 again Jesus spoke to them saying I am the light of the world whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life and so friends the Lenten journey has always been important into the life of Christians, into the body of Christ, and into the whole creation. Because it is where we, we pause, we reflect, and be renewed into a journey of a resurrected Christ. A journey which seeks to help people live in the kingdom of God which is before us and which is at hand. And so it's always an interesting journey where we have to be honest with ourselves, where we have to to journey with ourselves even when it is uncomfortable to do so. And so friends, I want us to remember this phrase as we continue this journey. Flowers do grow even after they are trampled on. Because friends, as we fall, as we falter, as we as we lose the focus of justice, grace, and mercy, we can be able to stand again and continue to live out God's identity in all creation. And so, friends, what we saw, one of the things that we saw in the pandemic is that all of us were affected with, with the sudden displacement of people economically, family-wise, health-wise. We saw ourselves losing it. We saw people who did not have mental illnesses before suddenly struggling with mental illnesses. We saw people who, who were chronic suddenly struggling, their body struggling to handle the pressure that we are facing. 
And this caused us for our well-being to be disturbed. People suddenly had anxieties. The level of stress and, dis and depression disorders increased. Many people suddenly struggled to sleep and struggled to eat. And we started adjusting ourselves into bad habits, which only led us into worry, led us into a life which was not focused, into a life which only caused us to break down each and every day. We experience pain, we experience suffering, we experience hopelessness, and we experience loneliness. And so friends, I invite us, as we journey with Jesus in the wilderness, a place where many people are lonely, are hopeless, are anxious, suffering and experiencing pain. How can this journey help us with some of the mental disorders and illnesses we have developed? No one likes darkness. But unfortunately, we have darkness all around us. We face darkness each and every day. And we experience different kinds of darknesses in our lives. We experience seasons of darknesses, of darkness in, in, in our faith journey, in the life of the church, and in our everyday life. And most of us, when we face darkness, we forget about the light. We forget about the life of God because suddenly the darkness overwhelmed us. And so we can lose ourselves in the darknesses that we face. We can become confused in the darknesses that we face. We can feel like failures in the darknesses that we face. Because most of us, when we see darkness all around us, we come to think that there is no light. Darkness does not mean the absence of light. As, so as we continue to struggle with the life that the pandemic or COVID has brought upon us, we must not sink in darkness because God's light is with us. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. It doesn't say they will never experience darkness, but they will never walk in darkness. 
And so as much as we experience these mental illnesses, this darkness in our lives, in this wilderness, we must not allow ourselves to walk in this darkness that we are facing. But we must walk in the light that God has shown on us. And I'm not sure about many people, but when I was in MLO and I had to drive to Durban, there are many roads which you take, especially at night, where you don't have any side, um, any side light, like the street lights. It's just the wilderness, it's just uh, trees, and it's all dark. And, and when you drive through this darkness, it can become overwhelming, fearful. But what will get me to Durban or to Emelo is not the darkness all around me. It is because I will follow the light ahead of me. No matter how much it will be dark all around me, but what will get me home is the light in front of me. And I will follow this light until I enter my door at home. And so I want to say to each and every one of us, as we journey together in the darknesses that we are experiencing, let us follow God's light. And because when we, we see or we face this darkness or the wilderness, we forget about God's light, let us have things which can remind us of God's light in our life. Today I have this wonderful candle which Lauren left in the office. And so in your workplace, you can have a symbol which reminds you of God's light. I have a candle. You can have a candle at home in your workplace. You can have a picture which reminds you of God's light. Or you can have a memory that you share, that you can see when suddenly everything gets dark. Because friends, as we have developed all these illnesses which take away our well-being, we can find hope in the light that Jesus gives. And so friends, pause. When things get overwhelming, pause. Read and reflect. Don't rush through everything. Pause and read. Connect with other people. Don't find yourself alone. Find someone you can talk to. Even we in the church are here for you. But don't find yourself being overwhelmed by the darkness all around you while you have friends which are willing to journey with you. And I want to believe in that way the darkness will overwhelm us, will not overwhelm us, because we are following the light which is ahead of us. Because darkness is not the, the absence of light. 
as much as we see darkness all around us, God's light exists and it is there. And so friends, as we pray, we ask the Lord to continue to be the light in our lives and to journey with us even in our most uncomfortable places. So Lord, be our light, be our strength, be our hope. Journey with us, Lord, even when we don't see any way, we don't see any light. Because you remind us that your light is always with us. And Lord, we will walk in your light in the midst of the darknesses of this world because you are with us. Be with each and every one of us. Amen. Thank you, friends. And I hope that we'll continue to journey with God as God journeys with us. Amen.